All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lupagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lupagus. We're going to do a little mock Vikings free agency here. We each had $30 million, $30 million to spend. I know we got a little bit more than that. And with restructures and Harrison Smith, all that, we're going to get way more than that. But we just we'd have a little bit of fun spending the Vikings money. Yeah, we had to, uh, we stuck with that 30 million limit. Like you said, there's probably going to be some more funds available. Uh, before we delve into this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, which we just hit 11K yesterday. So thank you, everybody who has subscribed, commented, uh, become a member over the years. We appreciate you all very, very much. Appreciate every single damn sub. We'll be giving away that John Randall jersey this week for sure. You can still put hashtag Randall. Uh, all right. So I did one and Lupagus did one. We each spent our $30 million, and I love that they're completely opposite. So this will be good banter in the comments. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> comments, let us know. So I'm going to go. I'm just going to lay out my whole team, my whole right. my whole signings first, and then we'll go to yours. But uh, my thinking with this is come draft time, they get that quarterback at 11, whoever it may be. They get their quarterback, and then it's pretty much defense. Nothing but defense. Defensive line. Edge corners, whatever defense, defense, defense. So that, that's that's my thinking behind this. So you have the quarterback and defense. All right, and and these aren't like we're not saying these are the only signings. So like we said, there's going to be more money. They're going to do a bunch of depth signings, whatever. But these are kind of the big boys. But you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Oh, you did them all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm just putting them all out there. So I put them in order. How much I spent. So right now. You know, we do not have a left guard. We have no left guard. We have no backup left guard. When you look at the draft, who are they going to bring in at left guard? There's not that many options. So I, I spent my, I blew my load on Damian Lewis. We've talked about him. We know he's good. Very good run blocker. That's what I want. I want mean, nasty. Javon Kinlaw, you know, he's a guy you're taking a swing on. His big thing is he was a bust right out of the gates. But the last couple of years, he's actually his big, what they're saying, he's starting to not use, rely on his athletic ability. He's actually turning into a defense, decent defensive lineman. Best year last year, 5.5. I'm taking a swing, hoping he, he's still young and does something. Austin Eckler. I went with Eckler, 4.5 million. We should have said these are all from projected values from P, PFN. PFF. Yeah, uh, PFF. And I've actually seen Eckler linked to the Vikings recently, so it's interesting you put him on your list. Well, I mean, while I was looking at running backs, I mean, there there was there was some like Tony Pollard was like six million. There were some guys that you can take a swing on, take a chance on, like the Devin Singledaries for like the two to three million. But Austin Eckler still twenty eight years old. The dude would be beautiful in this offense. Is he going to be here for seven years? No. But like, I'm thinking rookie quarterback needs some playmakers, need a running game. That's why I got Damian Lewis, Austin Eckler, uh, and then Sean Murphy Bunting, a cornerback that if he had the start could start be just fine. If, if Makai Blackman all of a sudden is just like, oh, shit, this guy isn't ready. Sean Murphy Bunting, still young, could get the job done, all third starting. And Kyle Van Noy, I mean, the dude had his best year last year. He's a sack machine. Brian Flores connection, cheap as hell. Edge rusher right now. I mean, I'm, I'm taking a quarterback in round one, so I'm not going to get my boy verse. I'm going to have to get somebody in round two, four, wherever. So I had to sign an edge rusher. And then uh, I had two million bucks left. I'm like, who the hell am I going to sign for two million bucks? And I'm like, you know what? We need a tight end for me this season. And Mike Gusecki was sitting there for $2 million. So I have a little mixture of offense and defense going on here. Yeah, and it's, it's definitely an approach to go with. You decided to go less and fill more holes. And I was very tempted to do something similar. Uh, but you can, as you can see by only my three bars, I definitely went a different route. I mean, like a lot of players you got here, you can't argue about uh, Lewis, Bunting, uh, Austin Eckler as well. I'm just... I'm kind of sick of taking the, the shots on these upside players like a Kinlaw. It hasn't worked out so far for Kwesi. Uh you, you try with uh, Marcus Davenport. You, you just, you're not having success with some of these guys you're bringing in. And really, you go back to all his free agents, uh, and that's kind of reasoning for why I did what I did. I mean, he's only had a couple that have actually really panned out. Yeah, no, the, my my theme is, aside from, Lewis would be good. Eckler would be good, we know it. Yep. Van Noy would be fine. But yeah, I mean, I, I took some definite swings but my issue was when i was going through this trying to spend my 30 million and i had many many variations yeah vikings have a lot of holes a lot I of know. holes so uh we're gonna throw your three up there i'm very curious to see how who's gonna be playing very specific positions on your team <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a <laughs> because there, there, there are some big boys i'll just shut up i'll throw it out there Here, here's here's lupa gets three signings 
Three signings, and I did it. I went big, and I, I tried to go smaller. And I just every time I saw Christian Wilkins, it's time for Quasi to make a swing in free agency. Uh, it's time to him to be associated with that big signing. I just mentioned it. Like all he's done is, is kind of get these little bit role players upside guys. Let's go out and get ourselves a stud. Well, what's Christian your what's Wilkins. your draft before we before we look at this? What's your draft thought? What like what what's your? Oh yeah. Thinking? So my draft is going to be a quarterback edge with those first two picks. Whether it's a you know whether it's a McCarthy and like a Chris Braswell or an edge and a Penix, I think that's the way you go. So you're going to get uh, you know a, a starter at both those positions. So you're going to probably go rookie quarterbacks. So you're probably looking at a down year in this scenario. Then you can use the draft to fill the rest of these positions. Uh, and there's going to be a little bit of money. That, that PFF projection for Wilkins was $5 million higher than most other ones I saw around there. So that might be a little bit on the high side. Uh, so maybe I have a few more, a little bit extra money where I could address no, some no, other no. holes. You don't have any extra money. I'm just saying. We I mean, in, in a real situation. But anyway, I'm stuck with what I did. So, yes, uh, I know you're looking at these three spots. You're thinking, oh, shit. Uh, it's going to have to be with the draft, I mean, at this point. So you're going to fill holes at guard. You really don't need to have one – Guard at this point, uh, corner, you're probably okay. Now you're bringing a veteran like Darby. Uh, but my whole thought was, let's go out, make that splash signing, and just see how this thing looks. So Christian Wilkins, huge impact on this defense. He's a stud. He's going to create a ton of interior pressure on his own. Uh, Ronald Darby, just a veteran corner, which is all I think you really need right now in the secondary. There's a lot of young guys back there. Booth comes back. I don't know what's going to happen with the Caleb, Will- Caleb Evans. you got um, Blackman. And Byron Murphy. So I think really just a veteran like Darby can help these young guys out. And then J.K. Dobbins. I know I talked about upside guys, but uh, for the way the Vikings use running back position, you got Ty Chan there here. Why not take a shot at a cheap option like J.K. Dobbins? Uh, and I only didn't have I didn't have much money left, so I was looking for some cheap value here. Um, but yeah, it comes down to the draft. You got to fill holes now. Uh, but again, I also look at Christian Wilkins as being part of this, you know, potential rebuild that could be happening. As you know, he's still relatively young, and he got him for three more years after next year. Yeah, nah. I mean, you blew your load on Wilkins. I I, I did some scenarios where I had Wilkins on there. I, I had some big boys, and then I just kept thinking, like, I, I guess I got really conservative, and just my 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 strategy was more long term. Aside from like Kyle Van Noy, I mean Eckler, maybe a couple years you get out of him, but I'm just I was trying to set up my rookie quarterback with Lewis and Eckler to uh, really really do well his rookie season Wilkins I was start. I mean 28 years old 29 like like I had him in almost all my scenarios and I'm finally like god I mean if if we're kind of tearing it down by the time we get anything going he's gonna be a cap casualty anyway so I I totally get your 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 strategy JK Dobbins is a guy that I hope that if if we go running back I mean he's played like one game in the last yeah. four years but Two million bucks and Darby, Darby, Sean Murphy, Bunting, tit for tat. Uh, but there's a the, the good thing I took out of it is there's a lot of really good free agents out there this year. Yeah, and you know I was trying, I was I was going between the D tackle or the edge first to spend money on one of those positions, and again I just I couldn't pass on Wilkins. I want to know who's your starting left guard. That's what I want to know. Uh, it'll and your be, it'll probably be my fourth round pick. <laughs> and your edge rusher is going to be Chris Braswell <laughs> and Patrick Jones. Yeah, that's what it would be. It's all right. We got the big boy up front, baby, building through the trenches. That's our mock free agency. It's not bad. I mean, again, we're probably going to have double this amount of money to spend when all is said and done. Yeah, and I would have loved to have a little bit more to fill out some other needs. It would have been like a really gross edge rusher, like uh, uh, Caleb Von Chason is who I was sniffing around because I didn't have much money left. Yeah, there was uh, – uh, who was it? Was it Leonard Floyd? Was he a free agent? Yeah, yeah. Floyd, and then there's uh, Carl Lawson that I was trying yeah. to sneak in there at the end, but uh, I went with Gusecki. I went with the tight end. But yep. let us uh, let us know in the comments. Tear us to shreds. Who would you have signed? Do you want the big boys signing, or do you want to fill some gaps? Let us know. All right, and remember this, too. 50,000 fake PhDs are estimated to be purchased every year in the United States, while only 40,000 PhDs are actually earned.